my 10, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> my 10 years in the Sarasat society, I got to see a semblance of African religious priestly monarchy. Ranefer and the and his wives were he was the king, the wives were the queen mothers, and they had other what they call Hespu, other um, areas where a Saraset society had enough of a group membership and fi and finances to have a space. Um, pe people would graduate to monarchy. You know, people gra people graduated in, in the priesthood. Then people graduated from Kerryheb to Shekamu, and then some people graduated to Urwa and Urwa too. That was the name that was given for you know king and queen. And not only that, they had you know King's Day once a year which these are memories that are really suppressed just thinking about king's day and how much drums and how much music and how much preparation and how organized it was and how much food had to be done and how much plates and i mean chairs had to be set up and it was a ceremony in in and of itself and to my knowledge, Rao Nefer Men had learned this from the Akans, and he had the title of Paramount King to the Asante Hene, I think, of Agogo, um, Nana Sapong. And several times, while at 1107 Atlantic Avenue, the uh, Nana Sapong would visit a Saraset Society, and it would be a, a grand celebration. This is just King's Day. Then there were the retreats, you know, that was once a year. You know, you add that to the rituals that were, was once a month and the trail life meditations that were once a week. And it was impact after impact of an impression of why my chef said, don't forget the dream.